In this video, we are going to see how to create a Flutter project from zero using a support the IDE Android Studio. So we are going to do step by steps all the procedure to set up the environment and to run your first project with the Flutter technology. Based here in the Flutter web page, you have in the first step install the Flutter SDK. So you have to click here in get started and then choose your platform. Once you choose your platform, you can then make the download of the SDK. For Windows platform, it's quite simple. It's a zip package. Then you have just to unzip that in any directory you want. In my case, I created in this directory this Flutter folder. And then I have unpacked the files. And here it is my Flutter SDK and all its dependencies. Once it's created, we have then Flutter installed in our computer. But now you need a tool, a, a IDE, to make the programming. There are some options. One option is the usage of Android Studio, what we are going to see now. Here is Android Studio, as, uh, assuming it is already installed. The first step is to install the Flutter plugin for, for Android Studio. Then, to install this plugin, you have to go to File, Settings, and then you go to Plugins section, and here you can type Flutter. Once you type that, it will appear. In my case, it already is installed. If you have not installed that before, the install button will be green. You click. Probably you say that the, some dependencies are start is not installed, but you can confirm you want to install that anyway and it will make the download of, out of dependencies. Once the plugin is downloaded, it asks to restart your ID and then your plugin is ready to be utilized. Once you have concluded this step, you are ready for create your first Flutter project. Then, how to do that? If you go to File, New, as, as soon as you have installed your plugin, this new Flutter project option will appear. Then you can click here and say you want to, to create a new Flutter application. And now is that we can see the importance of, we have done the first step of this video, downloaded the SD key. Basically, this directory here, that is a dependence for creating projects, is this path here, where I have unpackaged the files of Flutter SDK. And then, we just need to take this package and set the path here. Then it's available to create your project, just click Next and create that. In my case, I have already created one standard project that I'm going to demonstrate now. Once the project is created, it's appear here in your interface. Here is its tutorial. We don't have to see detailed now exactly how it works, but its main file is main.dart. It's here, and here is its hello world example that comes together with new projects. You have then, of course, just to create some emulators for execute your code. Here my emulator already is configured, but the same procedure as standard Android applications. Then you have just to run the project and now wait it to install. I start the application, which already is done. So it's here. Here's the default um, project that was created by, by the Flutter uh, new project. Then it's a counter. And if you had made some modification in your code, you could then just um, run again the, the project and it will be updated. And now you can run the, the project again and see your modifications. So it's that for this video, one overview about how to set up the environment to create Flutter projects using your Android Studio ID. Thank you for watching.